You've got a need for speed? Well, take a look. Entering the water right now, Team Kawasaki and the runabout. It's the pro runabout, 1200 super stock final coming up next. Let's take a look at the overall standings coming into this event. It is Chris McCluggage with 150 points. Back the series points leader in pro runabout for good reason. He's ridden brilliantly so far. Yes, he's put in some great races, including this pro runabout qualifier earlier this morning for both points and starting position. Intense qualifier this morning. The start was absolutely brutal. Look at the left-hand side of the picture. Craig Warner mistimes the waves and gets ejected from the watercraft. It was the yellow Riva Racing Machine getting a Scat Track Hole Shot Award, piloted by Erminio Iantosca out of Naples, Florida. Yeah, I just knew right off the start I had to get a great start in order to be competitive out there because most of the race out there is a start with the rough conditions. And uh, I just found my line, stick to it, and was lucky enough to hole shot. And then it's easy once you're in front. Easy, unless the racer behind you is nicknamed the Mac Attack. Chris McCluggage moved in for the kill on lap five with a clean inside move. Likewise, teammate Dustin Mutzers blazed past Iantosca and Kenneth Ritchie to move into second on lap number seven. And that set up a one-two finish for Team Kawasaki in the qualifying heat. So what has three cylinders, 250 horsepower, and 8,000 RPMs and capable of speeds up to 75 miles per hour? Well, it's Chris McCluggage aboard his Kawasaki STXR, and with the whole shot again, it's McCluggage. Oh, McCluggage just shot out of that starting gate like he was shot out of a cannon right there. But Ian Tosca, oh, Ian Tosca goes flying off his watercraft as he tries to overtake McCluggage. I hope Ian Tosca's okay. He's down in the water. Miraculously, he hasn't been run over. The race continues on alongside the Pirates. McCluggage leading Lawrence, followed by Matsuris, Cahill, Warner, Richie, and King D, Dustin Farthing. What a tremendous start McCluggage had. He really pulled a hole shot. I don't know what happened to Tosca there, but out in front, down the front straight away, it's Chris McCluggage on that factory Kawasaki. As Tosca regroups out there on the first turn, and we can take another look right here. Tosca just gets launched off that wave next to McCluggage, and from that point forward, he is completely out of control. He gets ragdolled right there off the watercraft. One more look. And this is the wild ride of the season put in by Arminio Hayantosca Jr. Oh my goodness. Looks like he got whiplash as he got thrown off that boat. He's a big, strong young guy, and he's gonna need every bit of strength he can muster to come back from that get off. Oh my, he goes from the Superman move to the Flying W to the Ragdoll and then to a floor mat because everybody just about ran over him. Ian Tosca regroups, now in 15th position, but take a look, here comes the Bulldog, currently running in second. He's not too worried about McCluggage out front, but he's got to watch out for Matsuris, currently in third, and Matsuris is charging. And he has good reason to keep an eye on Dustin Matsuris. Matsuris could ride that runabout extremely well. In fact, he was the points leader coming out of round one in Ventura, and he is on the gas right now trying to track down Chris Lawrence. Chris Lawrence right there, almost missed that buoy, look back. And now he better not look around because Dustin Monsters is side by side. In fact, goes by Chris Lawrence down that front straight away, and he is on the gas. Monsters saw the hesitation in the Bulldog, Chris Lawrence, and he makes the move. The 21-year-old out of Empagnani, South Africa, now moves into second position. Monsters looks real strong here in the early going as he sets his sights on his teammate, Chris McCluggage. McCluggage out in front and absolutely flying on that Kawasaki here today. Remember, he won the pro ski final earlier, so he's looking for a clean sweep here at Oceanside. Chris McCluggage standing in at 5'5", 152 pounds of racing muscle, leads his teammate Montserrat. Then comes the Bulldog, Chris Lawrence, followed by Kenneth Ritchie. Can anybody catch Chris McCluggage? We'll find out. Stay with us. Darren Hedlund, no stranger to the 80-hour work week, and it's paying off. Take a look, close course racing action, pro run about 1,200 super stock final. One of his boys out front, it's Chris McCluggage. And McCluggage has looked brilliant all day today here at Oceanside, in the lead here again, a pro run about 1,200. And McCluggage missed times a wave, gets ejected off the back of the boat, just stripped right off the watercraft. As we see his teammate, boat number three, Dustin Matsuris, rocking around McCluggage and take the lead. The Mac attack gets taken out by a set wave. Dustin Matsuris moves into the lead, followed by the Bulldog, Chris Lawrence. And there's McCluggage, he gets restarted. He is now in third. We always talk about timing when it comes to surf races. You can see right here why. McCluggage mistimes this wave. 
and gets hit by the full brunt of the Pacific Ocean. It's like getting smacked in the mouth by a 300-pound lineman in the NFL. It takes a fine athlete like McCluggage and strips him right off the back of that watercraft. The Kawasaki factory team manager, Joe Heim, might be concerned about the welfare of McCluggage, but not Dustin Matsuris. He is flying out in front. Into the impact zone he comes. Matsuris is our leader. He heads back out, and Matsuris gets clipped by David Pulley. Matsuris goes down. Matsuris making that turn. Pulley was on the outside of him and just clipped him just a little bit. Looks like he spun that Kawasaki sideways and flung. Matsuris right off the boat. He is swimming for the boat, getting help from a course marshal right now. Fortunately, he's okay. He's in fine shape, and that's all we really care about. Meanwhile, out in front, the Bulldog, Chris Lawrence on the gas with the lead. Beeline Racing's 19-year-old sensation out of Brea, California. Chris Lawrence, the Bulldog, is our leader now, but what happened to Matsuris again? It happened so quick. Matsuris making that left-hand turn. Bully comes in on the inside of him and just nudges him just a little bit. As you can see, Bully right here swinging wide, hits the tail of Matsuris' watercraft, and at the speed these guys are racing with the type of thrust and acceleration, when they're on the gas, it just spun that boat right around and Matsuris couldn't hang on. Mots gets regrouped, he's back, now running in fourth position. King D is in third, but on this final lap, it's Chris McCluggage trying to hunt down Chris Lawrence. McCluggage on the gas right now. Lawrence not that far in front of him. An incredible ride by McCluggage as he's gotten back into the hunt here on the final lap, and here we go. This is gonna be a great race to the finish. Lawrence out in front, trying to hang on to the lead in front of Mack. Mack, the green boat right there, just makes that left-hand turn. Chris Lawrence on the outside of the lapper. Mack comes to the inside. One more turn to go. There's Chris Lawrence, 151, his first ever pro victory. Chris Lawrence, the Bulldog, does it, and he continues racing. What a finish. Mack had his nose right inside of Lawrence on that last turn. Lawrence hangs on and takes the win. Dustin Farthing comes in in third place, but it was Chris Lawrence. Lawrence gets his, he's, he's still racing out there. He doesn't know he won. This will be his first victory, as you said, Dave, and this is going to be one very, very excited young man. We'll be right back to talk to our winner, the Bulldog, when we return. The 2002 Pro Watercraft Tour has been brought to you by Kawasaki Jet Ski Watercraft. Kawasaki, let the good times roll. And welcome back to Oceanside, California. A wild final full of chaos and calamity for Team Kawasaki. And a pleasant surprise for Beeline Racing's Chris Lawrence taking the win, his first ever in the pro category. It's Chris Lawrence followed by McCluggage, Farthing, Matsuris, and Cahill. Now let's go down to Rick Lake with our champion. Chris, your first win as a pro here, pro run about 1200 final. You got to just feel incredible. Oh yeah, Rick, you know, I'm really pumped. I've been, been working at this for a long time now and uh, I got a great group of guys behind me. Tim Judge, uh, Dave Harvey, Gary Lamb, Kerry Davis, Justin Windsor, Mark Dobson, uh, Jaime Lopez. I got so much backing, you know. I got to thank all my sponsors, Jet Pilot, Fly Helmets, UMI, uh, my, my family, you know, they, they're here for me so much and, and I love them. I love them to death. and. Uh, I just gotta thank everybody. I can't thank them enough. Into the race, you kind of settle into a pace. Mac out in front, Mott's in second, and you were in third. And then things started happening. Mac flew off the boat, you moved into second, and then Mott's goes down and you're in the lead. Yeah, you know, I, I saw him there, a couple buoys ahead of me, and I'm like, you know, Chris, don't push yourself too hard. It's really extremely rough out there. And uh, Chris and Dustin ended up coming off, and I'm like, whoa, I'm in front, you know, just, just keep this pace. And uh, I ended up coming across the checking line first. Congratulations on a great ride. Thanks, Rick. Thank you very much. Here's a look at the current point standings in the runabout class. It is Chris McCluggage leading over Dustin Matsuros. The racing and free ride event of the decade, courtesy of the surf here at Oceanside. On behalf of Rick Lake, I'm David Stanfield saying so long from Oceanside, California. <laughs>